Hey guys, I am back. Thank you all for watching on today. Do me a favor and if you have not already, go ahead and click subscribe so you never miss a video when I upload it here. Also, I am happy to report that I have finally faced fear in the face. And I went to my fertility appointment on yesterday. Um, overall, I'll say it was a pretty good appointment. It was my first time ever seeing this doctor. So I was pretty nervous. I always get pretty nervous when it's time to go to the doctor. Because in the past, it was like I've had doctors who just didn't listen to any of my concerns. And just told me, you're going to do it this way. And if you don't do it this way, then we're not going to help you. And just didn't let, didn't let me be involved in any kind, any part of my care. So, um, big shout out to Dr. Shepard at IU, um, downtown Indianapolis. So, big shout out to her and her team. Um, again, this appointment was an overall good, good experience. I finally have my PC, PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome down in the charts by a fertility doctor um so now i officially officially know what the heck is going on with my body and why the heck are we having a hard time trying to conceive um basically at this appointment she went over my medical history which you all know I may have told you I can't remember or not. But I have diabetes. So we talk a lot about that. Which I'm going to be telling you about. And we talked about my family here. So the normal, the normal blah blah blah. I've had all kind of tests ran. Because of some of the things. Symptoms that I've been having. Um, sometimes it's a sign of lupus. Or um, cancer. Like the three menstruals. The pain when I do have menstruals. The mood swings, the hair growth. I'm not shaming my little mustache. <laughs> um, I get hair growth here, which is uh, more of a sign of PCOS, but she said it can also be like a sign of cancer too. So I've had that she did a complete blood workup on yesterday. And because I'm diabetic, I had to have my A1C checked again. And. I've been so busy. I know it's no excuses. No excuses whatsoever. But I've been so busy taking care of everybody else and trying to take care of everything other than myself and just running myself thin for everybody else. And then when it's time to take care of myself, I'm drained and I just don't do it. I don't exercise as much as I should, drink enough water, take my medicines like I should. So, with that being said, my A1C was super high. It was 11. They like to see it under a 6 before we start any fertility treatments, which I can agree with because, like she told me, our goal is not to just get pregnant, but to get a healthy, living baby here. <laughs> that is definitely my goal. You know, when your diabetes is high... And out of control that can cause all kind of problems like miscarriage in my situation stillbirth um all kind of deformality deformalities with the baby and complications after birth and with the mom and the baby and it's just nasty so right now my game plan is to get that a1c down take care of myself do more self-care which includes <laughs> exercising. <laughs> I have to pause there. I am going to definitely be getting more exercising in. I'll tell y'all more about that game plan in a minute. But drinking more water, getting more rest because these two to three, maybe four hours of sleep is not enough. I'm supposed to get six to eight hours, so I'm forcing myself to get that much sleep. I'm taking care of myself. I'm allowing people to help me and not try to take care of it all on myself. I know I like to be the super mommy sometime, but... I'm going to allow more people to, to help me instead of me trying to take care of it all at all times. And then, um, I wrote the name of medicine down that she's going to start me on once my A1C down is down. But we'll talk about that. But um, in addition to all of those things, since I've only had three menstruals this year, sorry, too much TMI, but I've only had three 
menstruals this year. So she started me on a dose of Prevera and then I'm to call in and let her know how that menstrual was. And then we'll decide if I should take it again the next month and how many months am I actually going to take that. Once I'm on that for a little while, then she's going to also start me on progesterone because my progesterone was low. So we may start the progesterone probably in February or March. But right now, the focus is getting my menstruals back on track and um, getting that A1C down. So again, while I'm taking the Provera, I'm also going to get back to taking my red raspberry leaf and taking my Vitex. Now, Vitex advise you to take it three times a day, every single day. But I feel like that was a little bit too much for me because it would always make me like so sick. So I'm going to start with one and then take it for a few weeks, one one Vitex a day, and then slowly increase instead of just taking three. And, you know, that was a little bit too much for me. So that's what's happening there. I am also going to be focusing on nothing but positive. I took the liberty to write down some positive affirmations and I posted them in my room. So that it's the first thing that I see when I open my eyes and the last thing I see when I close them. I'm not going to be focusing on we don't have a baby right now and all the bad things that's happening right now. I'm going to focus on those positive affirmations and that's pretty much the update that's happening with me right now. So thank you all for continuing, continuing to cheer on Team Isabel and following our journey as we try to get that baby girl or that healthy baby here all right guys i'm gonna be coming back soon again thank you peace out